Die Hard. Face Off. Con Air. Commando. Predator. Rambo. Aliens. Terminator. Goldeneye. Beg your pardon? Forgot to knock. All of these are outstanding action movies that have defined a generation. Some of these have even had video game tie-ins, sequels, and more. Now, there's been a game that's been in early access for some time on Steam that encompasses all of these great action titles into the classic action shooter style of old, but with more of a dynamic environment. If this sounds like an orgasm sandwich, then Maximum Action is for you. Maximum Action is the perfect definition of an indie arcade shooter that is easy to pick up and play. The gameplay is a bit similar to what we've gotten previously in something like Super Hot. You make a character that fits into any 90s action film, whether it's in suits or cowboys or more. From there, it's a first-person action carnage shooter. Maximum Action just isn't the title of the game, but it delivers what it sells. There's a plethora of weapons available. You'll be able to hit fire one weapon or grab a second weapon and dual wield them. And the great news is, you'll be able to dual wield anything. RPGs and heavy machine guns included. You'll also be able to dive forward and backwards, throw empty guns into enemies, stunning them, drop kick an enemy and grab their gun while it's in the middle of the air. And this is all made possible by going into slow motion. You'll be able to do most of these motions at the same time as well. You'll be able to dive forward and then drop kick an enemy, throw your weapon at a different enemy, grab the weapon that you've just drop kicked off another enemy that's been flung into the air. It's fucking nuts and I wouldn't want it any other way. Levels in Maximum Action are broken up into different movies or different scenes from different movies. The training or tutorial level is 100% the training program run in The Matrix. There's a TV, it's all white, and look at how the guns come flying from nowhere. From there, each level will have a different location from a hospital, in an alley, a restaurant, or with their own enemy variants and unique weapons. Fighting in the jungle, you go up against militia or army sort of styled enemies with M16s and revolvers and RPGs. In the restaurant level, you go up against enemies with silenced MP5s and sawn off shotguns and classic pistols. The western level will give you old school hand cannons and repeaters. You will even cock the repeater around your hand like Arnie in Terminator 2. Each level is also pretty good in regards to its level of destruction. In the car park levels, cars will just burst through garage doors and walls will just smash open. Throwing grenades and being destructive in the hospital will even cause the ceiling lights to flicker and hang and swing from the ceiling. Now maximum action can be difficult and can also provide you with a bit of a challenge. You'll need to do the obvious like watch out for enemies, what weapons they're using and your surroundings. Standing near explosive barrels while enemies are firing RPGs at you, you're not going to have a good time. You'll find health pickups littered comfortably throughout each level as well as ammo. However, if you can't find ammo, you can pick up weapons from enemies at any time. Though if you're finding it too hard, slow motion will come in handy. Barging into a room full of enemies without slow motion will definitely provide a challenge. However, using slow-mo and diving through a window, you'll feel like a proper action hero and you'll come at the same time. And if your toes don't curl just by looking at this, you may need to see a doctor. If you wanted to be an even more over-the-top action hero, you can activate God Mode at any time, as well as unlimited ammo, infinite clips, and even start each level with your favourite weapon. There's even an endless game mode where you can just mow down enemies, but honestly, I love repeating levels and just tackling them from different angles. If you're a graphic snob, Maximum Action isn't for you. No, it's not the prettiest game, but it also doesn't need to be. It's an indie game, for fuck's sake. Maximum Action is also only available on Steam at the moment, where I think this would really shine on Xbox Game Pass or even portably on the Nintendo Switch. Also, for those of you looking for a story or campaign, you won't find it here. Maximum Action's levels are set like an action scene from a movie. Just action, there's no dialogue, there's no story, and that's it. You'll start in an elevator or in an alley or in a car park with either access to some small weapons and ammo, or you'll need to acquire a weapon yourself. For those of you who like to aim down the sights, you also won't really be able to do this in maximum action. But also, you won't need to. Due to there being no story, some people might not like just shooting enemies for shooting sake and have no need to continue playing. But you're not buying maximum action for this, you're buying it for the action. 
Maximum action is over the top. It's simple and it works so damn well. If you've got yourself a new PC, a laptop, or even a damn Surface, then maximum action should be on your radar. And if it's not, get a new radar.